Hi folks, my name is Ian Baker, I'm the product specialist here at American RV. Today we're going to talk about the Sprinter 299 RET. This is going to be a high quality trailer by Keystone with a beautiful rear entertainment floor plan. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the outside and what sets Sprinter apart. One thing that's going to be really obvious right here is going to be this beautiful front cap they put on here. This is going to be a fiberglass front cap. This is really going to uh, help aid not only in the look and the design, but also insulation and help prevent water intrusion. Also, one of the things they do is this right here, where they build in this beautiful cover to uh, hide and protect your propane tanks. So it really looks nice. You don't have that big, ugly black cover on there. Really just hides it uh, very well. Also right in front of that you'll see you're going to have your battery box and, and the back is going to be your battery disconnect. So it is nice and easy to reach. You don't have to worry about uh, you know disconnecting the battery. You just pop, you just turn the disconnect and you cut all power which is wonderful for storing. Also right up front here you'll have your power tongue jack. Super easy. You just flip it on then you can control it up and down here. You'll also have the light built in in case you want to uh, connect or disconnect at night. As we move around the off door side, I do want to show you this one is going to have electric jacks, nice and easy. Right here's a button to have it extend or retract. Also, you're going to have a nice pass through storage right up front. As we move further back on the coach, you'll see here we're going to have additional pass through storage. Also, in there, you are going to have a table and a TV but a huge storage area which is going to help aid uh, so you get extra storage not just in the pass through but you're going to get that as well. Right here is going to be our water connection and then here we're going to have our outside shower. Also, black tank flush. If you're not familiar with this, this is super easy. What you used to have to do uh, after you're done camping, you take a hose, bring it in the camper, put it in the toilet, let it run to wash out your black tank. You no longer have to do that with a black tank flush. You can just take a hose, screw it right in there. You're gonna have sprayers built into the black tank and that will help go ahead and wash that out. All right, folks, why don't we go ahead and take a look at some of the features on the door side. On the door side of the 299, let's go ahead and take a look at the size of that awning. You get a huge awning on here. You'll see you don't have any slides in the way. Your third slide on your rear entertainment center is going to be set back. So you get this very massive uh, power awning on here. The great thing about power awning, it's just a touch of a button rolls out, touch of a button rolls back in. You have full control as of how far you want it out. So if they want to bring it out half, three quarter of the way, you can absolutely do so. Also, you are going to have speakers built into the awning. The advantage of that is when your awning is out, your music will be playing down on you instead of blasting out at your neighbors. Also, directly underneath the awning, you'll see you're going to have an LED light strip. Uh, that's going to help provide night. That way you don't have to hang your Christmas lights. Uh, it'll provide plenty of light at night time. Here you're going to have three steps for easy access into the coach. You can see the first one's nice and low so if you do have bad knees no problem. Easy to get in. You also have this grab rail right here in order to assist. Now one of the great things I love about Sprinter is not only do they have a heated and enclosed underbelly, but they've actually gone through uh, the procedures to test their units. They've tested it at zero degrees and a hundred degrees to make sure that you're going to be able to handle the entire uh, influx of temperatures. So at zero degrees, you're good. Nothing's going to freeze. You don't have any problems. That's going to be some of the insulation that Sprinter has. Again, they've, they've tested it. A lot of manufacturers haven't done that. That's a big deal. Here we're going to have our aluminum rims. You can see there, that's going to be great. Uh, less chance for any kind of rust or corrosion. Also, it's going to be equipped with the correct track alignment system, so if your axles do get misaligned, it is easy to fix those. Fresh water connection here as well. And as we take a look around the back side of the coach, you'll see right underneath here, we're going to have a toy lock. This is really neat. It has your key and padlock here built right into the trailer, but that way you can lock up any bikes, grills, anything else that you would like uh, so you don't have to worry about theft. As we look at the back, here you are going to have a spare tire with a cover on there as well to help protect it from the elements, your satellite and cable hookup, and this be beautiful rear picture window.
All right, folks, so there's a lot of features on the outside. Sprinter's a great product. Let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the Sprinter 299 RET. One quick look and you'll quickly realize, well, this is one of my favorite floor plans in a travel trailer. Let's go ahead and start over here with this huge, beautiful entertainment center. You'll notice this is going to be built into a slide, so it really opens it up. Um, here we're going to have storage all the way around and it's actual usable storage. A lot of times these entertainment centers it's going to be really thin, not here. You get actual great usable storage all the way throughout. Also, of course, smack dab in the center here, you're going to have a 40 inch LED TV. Also underneath that will be equipped with a sound bar for superior sound quality. Along the back, you can see again, it's gonna be very wide. Part of that is because we're gonna have dual opposing slides. The other part of it is because Sprinter is gonna utilize a wide body construction. It is gonna be 100 inches wide, which really gives you a lot of room, which is what allows for these nice shelves to be on the side. They're not gonna be the skinny little things. Those are great size shelves. Look at that. They are even able to build storage in them. So you have storage there. You're going to have plugins on either side in case you wanna sit on the couch, you know, play on your iPad, whatever it may be be you're able to do that and also this is going to be a tri-fold sofa so this will fold out into a very comfortable bed in case you have additional guests that would like to stay up top you'll see you're also going to get storage all the way across which is wonderful nice big storage there Beautiful woodwork on here, by the way, as you can see, uh, it's gonna you know, already look a little weathered. It's absolutely gorgeous. They did a fantastic job. Here, again, another huge selling point of the floor plan, we're gonna have theater seating. This, of course, is gonna be straight across from our TV so we get the best possible view. We have a storage area here with some cup holders, and then both of these chairs will recline. That way we can sit back, relax after a long day, and enjoy some TV. Also, we're gonna have additional storage here. There is no wasted space. They put storage where they can. You'll notice here the disc lights. These are gonna be LED lights. That'll be throughout the entire coach. That way it's gonna save you power in case you're running on batteries, and it's just gonna be a much nicer looking light. Here's gonna be our freestanding table with four chairs. That way we can have additional guests, and it's going to allow us more room than your standard booth dinette. Makes it a lot easier to get in and out. As you can see, there's uh, windows all over this coach, lets in a ton of natural light, it's absolutely gorgeous. And we managed to get a very functional kitchen. As we take a look, you'll see we have excellent counter space throughout. You have a plug in here, perfect spot for a coffee maker. We're gonna have our three stove burner here with our traditional oven. And as we look here, we'll have a bank of four drawers. Very important to have drawers when you're in a kitchen. You're gonna have four of them all the way down. And underneath our oven, we get an especially deep drawer, which is perfect for pots and pans. Next to that, we'll have storage here. And we get additional storage all the way down. You have your uh, sponge tray here and you get two additional drawers. Ton of drawers in this kitchen which is absolutely wonderful. Again, great prep space. We have a sink top cover. It's going to be a 70-30 bowl sink. Uh, that way it's going to have a nice big one for washing dishes, smaller one for rinsing. Oil rub bronze faucet which is going to be a pull out. The thing I love about the sink top cover, you can flip it over, use this as a cutting board. When you're done you can just flip it back and no one will know. Also, you get this beautiful backsplash that's built in. Looks very nice. It's also going to be very functional. Here you'll have a fully functional hood with a light and fan. Storage up top. Microwave here in the center. There's going to be our weight, 8,430 pounds. And we have additional storage over here. So a ton of great storage all throughout this, uh, all throughout this coach. You know, in the living area, in the kitchen, uh, just storage all over the place. Last but not least, to round out the kitchen, here is going to be our fridge and freezer. So beautiful fridge and freezer, plenty of space there. That's gonna be a Dometic. Uh, thing I love about this one, you can set your temperature right here, nice and easy. And it's also gonna have automatic switch over for you, which means you can run it off LP as soon as you plug into shore power, it will go ahead and switch over for you. Last but not least, one of the things I wanna show you right here that I, I really like, when you walk in, this is something that's very important. You're gonna have jackets, you know, if you're camping in the fall, you're gonna have sweatshirts, need a place to hang them up. Nice and easy place to hang them up there. And then we get a shoe rack underneath. 
All right, folks, let's check out the bathroom and bedroom. In the bathroom of the 299, we get this large, beautiful neo-angle shower. You have a big skylight up top, lets in a lot of natural sunlight, also gives you some extra headroom. We have some shelves in here also, which is wonderful, and a hand wand, which makes it easier to shower off. We have this beautiful mirrored medicine cabinet. Open that up and you do get some storage in here, which is wonderful. We have our sink with uh, good countertop space here. And then we have a plug-in for hair dryer or anything we're gonna need, as well as additional storage underneath. Last but not least, in the corner, we're gonna have our stool with plenty of leg room. Now this bathroom does have two entrances, one coming from the main area and one coming from the bedroom. Let's come check out the bedroom. In the bedroom of the 299, we do have our uh, bed built into a slide, which gives us a lot of extra room. You do have a queen bed. They also raise the shelves here, so you're not gonna be knocking into them while you're sleeping at night. Then up top, you have excellent storage here, as well as a reading light in case you wanna lay in bed and read a book. Now you're gonna have to have closed storage. The 299 does that beautifully. If we look up front, we have huge wardrobe space here, nice hanging rack. This is something equivalent of what you'd see in a lot of fifth wheels. So just a nice large wardrobe you're going to have uh, in the 299. Also, if you want washer and dryer, this unit is able to be equipped with that. You have washer dryer hookup right here, so you can have your washer dryer. Additional storage, no problem, they've got you covered. Plenty of space here. You can see how deep these shelves are and you get this huge space right in here, which is perfect for any extra clothes, dirty clothes, whatever you would like. Also, you're gonna have this beautiful chest of drawers, which is not only gonna be stylish, but it's also going to be functional. These drawers are deep enough, you can fit plenty of clothes in here, and as you can see, you get several drawers that are going to be easily accessible. All right, folks, thanks for joining me again. This is the Sprinter 299 RET by Keystone. Beautiful, beautiful uh, laid out floor plan. You're gonna have the theater seating, you get the 40 inch TV, you're gonna have the tri-fold sofa, the beautiful large wardrobe. The construction is absolutely phenomenal. You definitely need to come and take a look at it today. If you do have any questions, please feel free to comment on the video, or you can give us a call here at American RV, and we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks, folks, I hope you have a great summer, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.